Hello everybody, my name is Bill. And I'm Ron. And today we have an unboxing for you. And this, once again, this is It Is Real 2018. We're branching out again. And this is our second unboxing video. And today we're gonna be showing you a nice little Wi-Fi drone. This is a smart RC foldable drone. And this little drone came in under $40. Actually, it came in yeah. $36. Ron found it for $36 on the internet. Now, this is a knockoff drone, which means it's, it's kind of like a copy drone that's made in China. But we're going to take a look at it because, as we understand it, it's a really well-made little drone. It has a lot of nice features. What are those features, Ron? Well, let me read off some of these features. First of all, here's yeah. the nice box that this drone came in. It's really well packaged. It's an RC drone. Nice looking box. Has a nice little handle on it. Nice handle. It came not damaged as far as I can see. No, we never opened it yet. We so haven't opened it yet, so no. this is gonna be new for us as yeah. it is for you. So let me read off some of the features that this drone has. Some of these features really caught your attention, okay. Ron. It has optical flow positioning. What does that mean? Well, you know, I don't know. We're gonna to have to get into this and we can describe what optical flow positioning actually means. I do believe what it means is it, it it uses your Wi-Fi on your phone, and it also uses the, a, a built-in barometer that's in a barometer sensor oh, in, good. in the in the drone, and it senses its altitude, altitude and everything. Yeah. Very so, it, so it maintains its height and its level, and it's being level, so it yeah. it always maintains its position. Right. Supposedly this is dummy proof, so if it hits a certain level, it won't go any higher, and you won't lose control of it. That's I think a lot of drones are lost because of that. It has barometer altitude hold, which which. Yes which allows it to maintain its altitude without r rising or falling. So basically, it's a lot easier to fly. Oh yeah, sure, be, anybody could fly this. This is considered an easy uh, uh, drone for the beginner to fly. Yeah, it's a beginner drone. It's a foldable drone. Foldable. Which means you can fold it up and, 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 and transport it much easier. Take it to a suitcase. Headless mode, which I'm not really quite sure what that means. Headless mode. But I think, I, we'll, we'll get into that. We'll I'm not sure that. what that means. Yeah. It does 360 degree flips while it's in the air. Wow. Now that's amazing. You can do quite acrobatic feats with this yeah, little drone. Yeah, no kidding. It has a built-in HD camera, which mm -hmm. is 720p HD camera. Not as good as we'd, we'd like. We'd like the 1080, but the 720, I mean, for $36, what? What can you expect? Yeah, for $36, no, that's yeah. not bad. And it operates, it, it comes with its own little uh, transmitter also, and it operates on 2.4 gigahertz, it, so it operates on its own frequency. It also uh, uses your phone as a, uh, as, as, as a clip, so you use your phone as a, and an app you download There's on your app, phone. Yeah. So you can use your phone uh, with a downloadable app to control this drone. So let's go ahead and we will go ahead and uh, uh, get into this. Now we're going to open this baby. We're going to take a look and see what's inside this box. Hey, Ron. Yeah. What, what is your biggest concern about this drone? Um, that I'm not going to be able to understand its uh, half Chinese, half English instructions. My concern is that we're not going to be able to fly it. Well, we're, we're going to fly it. We're not going to fly it sitting here today, but no. we're, we're, going, to, we're going to show you what, what this comes with, how to, un, how how to, to unbox it, how to unbox it yeah. exactly what it comes with. So, yes. And we're going to take a look at the instructions. Yes. That's the main thing we're going to do. Plus, First, I was going to do a little history and we're going to drone too. We're going to give you a little history here. While Ron is getting him, is himself prepared. So let's go ahead and there we go. open the box. Hermetically sealed. And I'm going to put this knife away so we don't cut into our jugular veins. So they say unmanned watch aerial this, vehicles. Watch this here. Oh, unmanned aerial vehicles, um, commonly known as drones, have actually been around for about 100 years, they say. Okay. Now here's what comes inside the box. Let's take a look and see what comes inside the box. First we'll take off this mm. hermetically sealed plastic shielding. Okay, well let's see what comes packaged here. Let's see how it yeah, comes packaged. It's really nicely packaged. But you see how it comes packaged here? Yeah, very nice. And let's take a look and see. First of all, on the left hand side, we have the drone. So let's go ahead and lift it out. We, we got to be careful here. So let's say the first drone was during World War I. It was yeah. called the uh, Kettering Bug. And basically it was just a, a, a flying bomb with a 12-foot wingspan and a paper mache. Okay, this is the drone. Now as you can see, it's, it's a not a bad looking little drone. It's made out of plastic. It's black. Looks kind of stealthy. Looks very nice. So I'll go ahead and set the drone down right over here on the table for now. 
Oh, and then we've got a controller. Next thing you're going to see is the controller. And where's your smartphone fit on there? Well, we'll see. We'll take a look at that next. This is the this is the controller. We'll take a look. We'll look Fixed at this. Four double A's. That we'll take a look at this in yeah. a second. Four double A's. We're going we're to take everything out of the box first. Oh, we have protectors. Four prop guards. Now these prop guards is what you put this on the on the on the drone, and this is for well for beginners for sure. Now this does add some weight to the drone, so this will mm -hmm. cut down flying time but it does protect the props. Uh, if you crash yeah. anything, you have the risk of breaking your props. That's true, if you crash it, yeah. maybe, I don't know. Now these prop guards are good yeah. to have, yeah. just to let you know. You know the fly time on this, Ron? Well, from what I've understood, it's anywhere from about 15 to 25 minutes. I heard it was five to seven minutes. Well, no, that's not true. Yes. It's anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes. We'll find out. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's of course, it, it comes with, the battery it comes with is it actually, actually a, a fairly, good size little little battery it's 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 big for the size of the drone and that's what the reviews i saw the, the one review done by rc sailor uh said it's about a 25 minute fly time and they did it on a cold day also i see that you can buy extra batteries too oh and they're cheap yeah they're very Look like four dollars and do i have a note here yeah four dollars and 36 cents and then maybe some shipping on top of that now in this package you've got the little battery charger it, you charge it up by plugging it into an art into a, a USB port on a, on your computer. So it, it's, it comes with a little battery charger right here, USB powered. USB powered, and it plugs into your computer or laptop, whatever. That's where it takes an hour to charge it up. About an hour, yeah, about an hour to charge it. Up. And I always recommend yeah. charging it up before you attempt to fly your drone, make sure it's fully charged. What are those silver things in there? These silver things are a couple of little extra tops that go on top oh, of your propellers okay. in case you lose any of these. It comes with a couple of little extra ones. Huh. This little screwdriver is used uh, to open several compartments on the bottom of your drone hmm. uh, for, in case you have to get to it, anything like your, which you don't have to, but in case you wanted to install a, uh, an SD memory card slot. This does not come with an SD memory oh, card okay. slot, but it has a space for one if you want to install one. That's if you weren't recording on your smartphone? If you weren't, if you weren't recording on your smartphone, yeah. but the We're way, the way this is smartphone. set up, if you're using your smartphone to control this, yeah. then the video you, get, you capture goes directly onto your smartphone. Otherwise, if you're using this controller and not your smartphone, you don't. You won't be able to record any of the oh, video. I get it. I you get would it. have to install an SD card slot into this. So some people don't have smartphones. Some don't. people don't use That's their right. smartphones. So in oh. order to record the video, you'd have to install install a little SD card slot onto this uh, onto this drone itself. It doesn't come with one at this price, but it has a space for one. That's why you get this little screwdriver. It's a bargain. It's a bargain. Yeah. Okay, and here are the extra props. It comes with four extra props to replace the ones that you're probably going to break. Going to break it, yeah. So we really planned out that you're going to break it. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, learning to fly this, you're, yeah. you're probably going to crash it a couple of times. Yeah. So that's the, that's the price you can pay for learning how to do this. Yeah. Nothing, nothing comes easy. If it's too easy to fly, then where's the challenge? Okay, underneath this, of course, is oh, yeah. we have got... Chinese first, instructions. First, I'll show you this. What is that? This is the really cool thing. Okay, first of all, here is the... On the, bottom of the, uh, on the bottom of the controller is where the four AA batteries go in. That goes into the hopefully they don't wear out radio quick. controller yeah. for, your, for your, where you control the joysticks and all these different buttons that have all the different functions. Now, mm. these, this is how you start the drone here. This is, has another function. This is like auto, auto kill. This kills the props. You don't want to do this unless it's an absolute emergency. Because if you're 100 feet up in the air and you, hit, and you hit this, yeah. Everything stops and your drone comes drops. crashing to the ground. So this is your last resort. In case resort. you're heading for a helicopter. But th there's different feature functions you do with these to, to set your drone up. And I, we, I don't know if we'll get into this today. It's, it's, quite, it's, quite com it's quite complex. Well, the reason we bought this is we can control it with our smartphones. Exactly. We're, not, we're not good at this. Exactly. This, but this, stuff. this is a really cool thing here. You take, this, oh, yeah. you take this cover off, slide it out. This is where the rubber meets the road. You slide this in. Yeah. Boom. There you've, you got, go. you've got the clip to oh, hold yeah. a large smartphone. Yeah, which way is it going? Like that? Just like that. And boom, it oh, holds yeah. it. How it, tight it, is it? It holds your smartphone. Oh, it's, oh, it's yeah. tight. It holds it's, your smartphone. Yeah, that's how we're going to control it because we're not. So then you're, very good. Then you're out in the field 
Yeah. You've, you've, down, you've already installed your app from the Play Store if yeah. you have an Android or yeah. for the iOS, iOS Store if you have an, uh, a, a, an Apple phone, an iPhone. Yeah. You've got your controller right on your smartphone there and you're looking at the screen and you're able to control this drone that way. Now, as I understand it, you can draw waypoints on the screen mm -hmm. and draw a flight path on your smartphone yep. for the drone to follow. Absolutely. You and motion. You can actually move this around you, like this. You, you can go like this. Yeah. And you can control this, this drone too. So yeah. this is yeah. pretty smart. It's a, really, it's a really cool thing. Here's your yeah. phone back. Now it takes um, voice command too. It takes voice command. It, it has like all... Sit. Okay, so now to take the phone clip out, it's very easy to do. You just press down here and it slides right back out. Very so easy. It's really simple. There's really not a, a lot of assembly here, Ron. No, it's not bad at all. No. And then this goes back in here, of course, because you don't want water. Because if you were out and it started raining or something like that, you would not want water or rain getting inside no, no. this unit. No. So you just snap it back in here, and then you've got your unit nice and complete like this. You shouldn't be uh, flying in the rain anyway. No. So. If you want to take a quick picture of this, yeah. uh, go ahead. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, I'll have it out. Okay, I can go ahead and put it in. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're going to show you the instructions. Now these are, these are some pretty strange instructions. But first thing before we show you the instructions yeah. is we're going to show you there's a user guide. It came with the user guide. This user guide shows you how to install the, the app on your phone, whether, whether it's on an Android, or whether it's on a, an Apple, a, an iPhone. And what this does is this allows you to operate the drone from your phone as opposed to this Yeah, this which device. we want to avoid that at yeah. all cost. And if you're going to control it from your phone, yeah. you get a really cool looking screen that actually shows like a little airplane or a little drone on there. You actually see your drone mm -hmm. as it's flying around. That'd be cool. So this is a really cool thing. Yeah, we'll show you that later. So this is, and then the, the backside is Chinese. So it, it, all, all, to all of our Chinese viewers, you, won't, is, you won't feel left that's out. That's your section. Now, uh, one, vi one video I watched said this was actually Mandarin. Keep it away from barriers, high tension yeah. tables, trees, and people. That makes sense. Do not fly in extreme environments such as hotness. Hotness. Co hotness. Well, that's the Chinese version hotness. of hot days. Hot days. Coldness, strong wind, or heavy rain. This tells you how to install the lithium battery. This does come with a nice little lithium battery for the, for the, it's actually a big lithium battery for this drone. You can pop it in and out at will. Oh yeah, you can pop yeah. it in and out. So if you had two of them, you could fly for a long we time. We will show you how to do that, by the way. Yeah. Know your remote control. If you're, if you're flying it with this, it has a full mm. set of instructions. Oh, you've got to know. On what each stuff. one of these buttons and what these toggle switches you have will, to be will so do good for to your drone. That. You have to be so good to operate that. It has photo, 3D rolling, right yeah. fine tuning, left fine tuning, yeah. rolls, LED lights, power switch, joysticks, it has everything here. It's probably a, quite a bit of learning. Yeah, there's it's, no chance in hell that me and Ron are going to be able to operate it from that function. It even has basic yeah. flight, how to do just basic flight. And if you don't want to get too fancy at first, I would suggest do basic flight, take off, land. I would just voice command it. It's just take off, land. I would do basic flight, just take off, land, take off, lots land. of time yeah. until you get it down. Left, go left, go right, just voice command. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to unfold the drone. Here we go. Yeah. I'm going to take a close-up picture of it. Too. He's going to do close-ups while we're unfolding the drone. So here's how the drone sits unf unfolded. Nice and compact. But as you can see on the bottom, there are some little pins. And there's a certain procedure that you have to unfold this. So there's a, there's a gold pin right here, or not a gold, a silver pin right here. You press in on it, then you unfold it like so. It's very easy. Like that. And just be careful with it because the plastic might not be the highest quality plastic you've ever seen in your life. Then you press this one in. Look how smooth that is. Voila! You go like that. Very smooth. And there's a certain process you do this in. You've got to fold it up the same procedure too or it won't fit in this little tray. But you'll probably never put it back in that tray once you've used it anyway. It's made to fold down though. It's made to fold down. Same one with this one, like this, and the same with this one, like Beautiful. this. So you've got your drone unfolded now. Huh. So now what you want to do is you want to unfold the landing gear. They're just little landing rod, little landing pads, but you fold it down. Now to avoid breaking these little plastic legs. Can I get a close-up of that? 
Get a close up of it. See how they see how see how they're made. Yeah, kind of cheesy. Kind of a little cheesy, cheap, but you kind of snap them into place. You hear them snap? There. Yeah, I heard well, it. Oh no, it didn't snap. Now it snapped. Okay. You got to kind of force it into a little groove there. Yeah, but not too hard. There's a little groove it. there, and don't just don't over force yeah, it. Don't force it. If you feel any resistance, kind of hold back, back and th think it out a little. Yeah. And there's a little groove that it fits into, and it snaps into place. Cool. This is just a little kind of a little landing gear that the that the drone lands on when when it when it comes. Gently back to earth, you hope. There we go. Yeah, nice. There's another one. Because and the more times you do this, the easier it gets. And the final one. Very nice. It is now oh. assembled with landing gear down. Got that, Bill? Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Now, when you first start flying this drone, you're probably going to want to put in the prop guards. And these are so easily put in. You just Knowing us, we'll need those prop guards. It, they just slide into each edge like Very that. Very easy to put in. And they just, they, they don't snap in, they just kind of glide right in, so. Safe droning, it's called. And what they do is, if, if you come crashing down to earth at a really weird angle. Or run into a tree. Or run into a tree. Or a human. They just slide, they just, slip, they just slip into the edges like this. Yeah. The yeah, chances are we're going to crash this thing. They just go like that in each corner. Oh, yeah, now they add a little bit of weight. You know, they're actually pretty light, so I don't see how, I don't see how this could add much weight to the drone. I mean, each one of these are like paper, paper. What? They're paper light. But as you can see, they do help. If they protect the little props, and these these little silver things here, a couple little extra prop tips that it came with, which it's kind of good that they included those. And as you can see, there's the screws on each one of these, these arms. Mm -hmm. So that's probably what I should oh. show you. This little screwdriver that came oh, with I it. I think you could replace the engine. That's probably what happens if you break yeah. this whole, if the motor goes out, yeah. you probably send away for a replacement. They'll send yeah. you an entire arm. Yeah, it does. You use this little screwdriver, yeah. just unscrew it, and put a whole new motor on it. That's the motor, this whole motor assembly probably comes, this yeah. little arm right here. Oh, that's cool. So, I mean, I don't know how much they would charge you. You'd probably buy a whole new drone for the amount of money they charge you for a motor. I know the extra battery is only 436. So exactly. I'd recommend getting that. So let me show you now. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you oh. the battery. Now, look at, first of all, this, this compartment is where the circuit board is. Where? Right up close here. Oh, yeah. And you see this little wire hanging here? Yeah. This little wire hanging here, I can't, yeah. I can't really get to it right now. It's kind of there. This little wire hanging there, yeah. that's the little antenna for the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Cool. So the wi that's what the Wi-Fi picks up. This is where an SD card reader would go cool. if you had an SD card card. slot in there, but this one didn't come with one of those. Yeah. So any kind of video or photos recorded on this would go directly to your smartphone. Yep. That's how this is, this is meant to be used. Yeah. Okay, this is where the battery goes. Very easy. Battery goes in here. Okay. Here's the battery connector. Cool. The battery plugs right into this. Beautiful. Only one one way fits. One way fits. You can't make a Now, of course, I put the battery is in this bag here. Beautiful shot of the interior there. Yep. Now it came with this battery. This battery is a 3.7 volt, 900 milliamp lithium ion battery. Cheap. This cheap. cheap. This is a really heavy duty battery. For such, a, for such a small, inexpensive drone. Yeah. This battery will provide, you said, only five to 10 minutes this flying five time. five to seven instructions, but. Uh, no, this, the people, the videos I have watched have got up to 25 to 30 minutes of flying time out of this drone. Hmm. I've, I've watched the video. Okay. They, we shall you, find out. This plugs into this connector inside here. Yeah. There's only one way it plugs in, by the way. Very easy so, to do. So you can't plug it in backwards. No. Make sure when you plug it in, that you push it all the way in until it, it, yeah. it snaps in. If you don't, it won't work. It won't work. You just won't get power. But it, it plugs in one way only, and it snaps in. Then you just then you just fold it in and lay the battery in on top of it, and then slide the door, okay. and then close the door, and it's secure. Very nice. Very easy to do. Very nice. Very easy to do. And then when you're charging the battery, it's the same thing. You've, you've got this little charger here, plugs into your USB port. The battery plugs into this connector, same way, it only goes one way. Make sure you plug it in all the way till it snaps. It plugs into your laptop. Plugs into a laptop or, or, or a PC, desktop, a desktop. Yeah. 
and then it, it has a little charging light that's red when it's charging and, and green no. when it's fully charged, takes about an hour to charge it all the way. Yep. And uh, these batteries can be replaced or you can get extra ones very inexpensively. I do the extra one. And in the instruction manual, it has uh, uh, instructions on how to, where you can send away for extra batteries, extra parts or whatever. So that's basically how you set this up. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you how to fold this up. Oh, wait, can you show them the smartphone part of it? Oh, that, absolutely. Oh, Abs yeah. Absolutely. Let me show you the smartphone part yeah. of this. And actually, we're going to use this smartphone that I'm using. Absolutely. This is the, this is the instruction guide. It tells you how to uh, download the app to your smartphone, to your Android, or to your uh, iPhone. It even has the the, the uh, QR QR code that you can actually QRC. scan. It, so it says QR code oh. here, but QRC code that you can scan, and it, and it, it can get it that way. The easiest way I found to go is just go to the Google Play Store or the iOS Store. Well, you got to get the right app because. Yeah, there are different ones. Though. Yeah, there are different ones. It's kind of confusing. Yeah. Uh, go with the latest one. Go with this one that yeah, comes with the, with the instruction, the, the barcode one. If that works with the 720 camera. And it, and it works with the 720p camera that comes with yeah. this. And it, uh, and it looks like it's actually a pretty easy, pretty easy app to use. Yeah. So once you, once you scan this, it'll take, you right, it'll take you right to where you want to go. You'll download the app, and then it, it, that, that'll walk you right through everything. But, but if you're using a smartphone, you have to have an SD card. That's something you have to have. It, it will not store any, any video to your internal memory of your phone. I have, I have found that out the hard way. Yep. So you have to have an SD card. So that, that's something you have to have. Very nice. Okay, so that's how you do this. Anything else you'd like to show them? Um, that's about it. The next thing you're going to see from us is you're going to see us with this out in the field, out in the field flying this baby. Yeah. Now, now what I'm going to show you next on this is I'm going to show you how to take it, break it down. So. Hmm. I'm going to show you how to fold it up. It's While Ron's breaking that down, we should talk about the, um, the actor from Britain that moved to Hollywood during World War II. And he was a remote control buff. And he got an actual contract with the US Army to build these drones for um, target practice drones. So the factory was in Van Nuys, California. And the reason I mention that is that Marilyn Monroe was discovered in that factory. And she was flying the drone. Well, I don't know about that, but she was. Yeah, Marilyn Monroe was flying the drone, and that's she where she got discovered. Sure, making them. Yeah, she was quite a drone pilot, from what I understand. Yeah, target practice drones. Now, there's a way you fold this up so it'll fit back in this tray. Why would you design a toy that you could to break be able down to break it down and open it up again? Well, because um, you want to be able to. It protects it in here, for one thing. That's true. Yeah, you, this is a kind of a delicate little toy. And it, it, yeah. it, it is a toy. And, and if you were packing it around your backpack, or you you take it on a hike out to the um, wilderness. No, there is a certain there is a certain method to this. One side needs to be folded down before the other. So let's see yeah. if I can remember how this goes. We're going to be using this drone in, in some of our video production too. This side way. first, then that's how it goes. See, it nice. Yeah. It goes down. So it's the front first, because it tucks in like that. It tucks, tucks. in better. Tuck and roll, we call and it. And then this side. Tucks in like that. Very nice. And the, that. and the reason for that is, I'll show you. Is this backwards? Yeah, it's backwards. Okay. I was like this. Did you actually show them how to um, put the smartphone on it? Yeah. On the controller? Yeah, we showed that. We did? Absolutely. But if you want to show one more time, we can. Yeah, I think we better show them now. Okay, we got to get it out again. Okay. Because I think that got cut out. No, I don't think so. Yeah. But anyway, here's how you put the here's smartphone the... on this controller. This is the controller, but yes. what makes this stand apart, which I think we might have already shown you, yeah. but we'll show you one more time. This has a nice little clip on it, a nice little holder here. So me and Ron, we have to use the smartphone version of this because we are not good at these little control things. That's another... This so slides generation. right in. Oh yeah. Then this goes open over like this. Like that? Yeah, and then it grabs your smartphone. Oh wow. And this is a pretty yeah. good little clip. Yeah. That way you're standing here like this. You've got this, even though you're not using this, but you've got you your smartphone. Draw, you can draw waypoints on there. You got your smartphone right in front you of can you. Go like this and move the drone. You're looking at you're looking at your screen here. You and, can talk. And you're watching your drone, and you're talking to your drone. You can as talk it's to your drone. Around. 
So it's really incredible. Sit, stay. Go ahead and take your phone there. How do you do it? Okay, so the next time you see me and Ron, we're going to be out in the field. Next time you see us, we are going to be masters of our own domain. Yeah. We're going to be flying this little baby. Hopefully without crashing. We're going to be flying this little baby. If I get this box closed, there we go. Okay. Drone. Very well done. Little drone. Little you're, drone. You're going to see us in control of this drone out in the field. $36. Next time there's a halfway decent day, we're going to be out flying it in a place where there's no big trees and no buildings. Yeah, no people. Okay. So thanks for Very tuning good. in. Oh. And we'll, we'll see you. Next time you see Next us. Next time you see us. We're going to be flying this thing. Yeah. Okay. Happy journeys. Okay. See you. See you then. Bye. Take off. There it goes. Get it away from the street, Ron. Right. Turn right. Oh, turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Don't say anymore. Turn left. It is. Don't don't. Turn don't turn confuse left. it. Turn left. Oh. Turn left. Turn right. Turn left. Turn left. Say turn back. Left. Back. 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 Turn left. Turn left. Ah. Oh. Yeah, just use your little joystick. There, beautiful. Now it's coming towards me. It's going to the street. There it goes. It wants to go that way. Whatever you're doing, do the opposite. Where is it? There it is. Cool. Is that a 360? Uh-oh, Ron. Get it away from the street. How about land it? Bring it back, you're going to lose it. I'm landing it. November, Echo, Bravo, 3, Quebec, standby. Sierra, November, Echo,